In this tutorial, I'm going to run through a very short example on how to use the num to string function. So before I, I do that, I need a number. We're going to say 12. So having the number stored, I want to first look up and I see in my workspace that I have a number, a numeric value, a one by one double. So one row, one column containing a value of 12. Um, and then I want number as string, and that's going to be number two string. That's the name of the function. And inside of that function, I'm going to pass the value number. When I run this, I have number as a string equals 12. So you'll notice over here in my workspace, the original number is saved as a one by one double, but the string is a one by two character array. And if I click on this, you can say this is a character array. We can see it. And then you can see that this is some sort of uh, numeric array, but it's only one row, one column containing a number. Now, the num to string function is particularly helpful if we want to display information. So the display function will display one array, oops, and wrong keys. There we go. And inside of the array, because we can build that one array, starts and ends with brackets, uh, that we have to have consistent information, so the same type, and we can't use numbers and strings together. So we can say, John has a favorite number and his number is 12. So let's go ahead and actually, you know what, before we do that, let's say name equals John, and we'll say display, and inside I have my array, and we'll say name, and then we'll start a string, has a favorite number, and it is colon, so, and then we'll say whatever the number is, number. Okay, so I can run this, and we get John has a favorite number, and it is box. Well, that doesn't work. Um, if I come back and instead say number as string, now what's displayed is John has a favorite number, and it is 12. We can combine what happened here and what happened here together. And instead of num to string, I can say num to string, I'm sorry, instead of number as string, I can say num to string number. Now we have John has a favorite number and it is 12. So this is actually very interesting to us because it helps us combine information and if it is not like information, make it like information, specifically when we want a string so that we can display information. So. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and thank you for watching.